The top of a marketing funnel casts a wide net to catch your audience's attention, but what if there's holes? Don't let any of those leads escape with our complete guide to top of funnel marketing. Hello world, Mike Ploger back here with Vizme, who's really the brains of the operation, but today we're discussing top of funnel marketing. Any well-developed marketing strategy will start at the top of the marketing funnel before weeding out the serious buyers from the passive ones. It is called a funnel for good reason. In comes a large amount of prospects, but out comes only those who will take serious action with your business. In this video, we're going to refine the top of your funnel so you're not only attracting the most customers, but setting them up to continue through the entire journey, leading to more sales and clients for your business. Shall we? Before we dive into tactics and examples that you can use in your business, let's first just briefly touch on what is the top of funnel marketing. As I mentioned, this is the very first step of your marketing strategy. Your top of funnel marketing goals should be to create awareness and generate leads. Really, and even more importantly than just building awareness, is building trust. A company may know of you, but are they confident that you can solve their needs and their problems? In a world where there's endless choices and competition with pretty much everything, you must stand out from the crowd. The best way to do that is by providing value, which let's do for you right now with 12 tactics you can implement in your marketing strategy today. Tactic number one. Creating a blog for your business is a great way to provide answers that your target audience often seeks. You provide value through your knowledge, all while establishing yourself as an expert in your field. While blogs can be less formal, you should still cite your sources, add helpful visuals, and make the content easy to read. Short sentences, bullet points, or graphics are your friends here. It's not a full-on research paper, but it is accurate information that can bring in random Googlers as well as hold on to those who are already frequent visitors of your page and they may learn something unexpectedly. Databox does an excellent job with their blog posts. They get expert insights and they pair that with their own research, all while writing posts with facts, stats, and quotes that are sure to impress their readers. Everybody generates content via social media now, so you may be asking, how is it unique? But instead, I'm asking you, if everybody's doing it, why aren't you? You should be creating some form of social media content on at least two to three platforms, but it's up to you to make that content different from the rest. One of the most common content types we see on social media right now is tip sharing. Whether it's cooking tips, real estate advice, exercise guidance, tips for playing an instrument, there's a lot of TikToks and other posts that are useful for millions of people. Why? Because they're creating value. And again, as you provide value through advice, you prove yourself as an expert in your field. And don't worry if you're not an expert in social media. Vizme has social media templates that you can edit and post on all platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitch, you name it, we have it. A pillar page takes a broad topic, let's say content marketing, and then provides cluster pages that break off that topic and answer more specific questions. So with content marketing, these cluster pages may be content marketing ideas or content marketing examples or content marketing strategies. Pillar pages will help with your search engine optimization or SEO while also providing readers with tons of valuable insight. HubSpot is a good example of a website that utilizes pillar pages. If you click the software tab at the top of their page, they provide different hubs that will take you to the area that you're looking for. All of the hubs fall under the same umbrella, but each is very different in their own right. If you have more knowledge and information than you can keep in a short blog post, an ebook would be a more suitable option for you. Or better yet, maybe you actually have a blog post that did really well and received an overwhelming amount of views and shares. If this is the case, Dive deeper into that subject of that post by creating an ebook on it. These can provide a heaping amount of information that will turn any average Joe into an expert. And one of the best parts is that you can make it free for visitors to read so long as they provide their email address. Then look at that, you have a lead. Just make sure you pitch just how much value is in the ebook for them to want to spend so much time reading it. And again, don't worry about the technical aspect of creating an ebook. 
Vizme has you covered there too with templates like this one available to edit whenever you're ready. Another option you could consider if you feel that you have a lot of helpful information to share is white pages. These go deeper into a subject and are very research driven and formal. So much so that you may even want to consider hiring proven researchers to do the writing for you. Or at the very least, you want to meet with them yourself before writing to gather as many ideas and as much information as possible. Quotes from these experts, factual statements, statistical findings are your best friends here. So is this FISME template, which turns even the most formal informational white pages into an appealing document. How does Visme take advantage of the top of the funnel? With videos like this one you're watching right now. Our goal is to educate our audience with these videos. So we take topics we know our audience is intrigued by and turn it into a video that they can watch at their own leisure. Everybody's different. Some people prefer to read when they're trying to learn while others prefer watching a video. We provide options for both with our blog and our YouTube channel. A billion hours of content is watched on YouTube every day. We're just hopeful to garner a couple minutes of that time. And again, don't forget about bite-sized videos you can find on social media too. You have options with video, so get creative and get to work so people can learn more about who you are and what you do. All right, back to the medium that I personally consider boring, but don't blame me as I'm a video guy. Research reports provide another avenue to prove yourself as an authority in your field. Is there a topic that you've researched before but haven't found many answers to? If so, this is when you want to write a research report. Just know that it's not all that easy. You'll have to conduct research yourself by surveying your audience and that can be quite time consuming. If the data isn't published by someone else, then you must do it yourself. But there can be a ton of value in that. The next time somebody is like you and looks up what you originally did, rather than finding no answers, they'll be led to you. Boom, more clientele on the horizon. Want to provide value in real time? Try hosting a webinar. These can be consultations paired with Q&As that get you interacting directly with your audience. Don't hog all the camera time though. Invite other experts that you can work with that can add value to the experience. Having additional speakers that may have an established brand that connects with your audience is a great way to increase your following. Think about it, if Elon Musk, bold example here, but you get it, speaks in your webinar, there's a good chance he shares it to his following, immediately building your own brand awareness. It's a win-win. Whatever you do, don't go into the webinar unprepared. A branded presentation deck like this one will add to your credibility and help you be more remembered. Another interactive marketing tactic that you could use would be a short quiz. Help your website visitors by providing them with a quiz that will help them find whatever it is that suits their needs. A shoe company can ask visitors questions on styles, colors, and purpose for the shoe. A paint company could ask what energy somebody is looking for, uh, along with how big a room is to gauge what color and how much of it someone may need. There's always an option for a good quiz, and it's not to be graded. It's so you can better understand your audience and their needs. A free internet tool that makes someone else's life easier is a remarkable thing. And not only that, but how many times are you searching for something that seems so simple, yet all you can find are paid versions? If you have the option to provide a free tool for your audience that will help them do something better or faster, try it out. Maybe eventually you'll have to ask them to pay for it, or you ask them to pay for a more advanced version, but remember we're only talking about the top of the marketing funnel right now. And just getting someone to notice you is important. So try it out if you can. And as we continue with actionable examples that your audience can take, a checklist is another one that can help add value. If you're informing or educating your audience and it's a bit of a lengthy process, a checklist can immediately simplify it so people are taking it step by step. They may see a lengthy blog post and think, my goodness, I can't do all these things, but a checklist can help break it down and keep people on the path to success. We recommend you make these with your branded assets. Checklists are often shared, so it's just another way for you to introduce your business to a larger audience. 
Have you heard of CoSchedule? All of their blog posts are highly comprehensive with checklists, cheat sheets, and other content that can be immediately used by their viewers. And our last of the best 12 top of funnel marketing tactics is to utilize infographics. Infographics is Visme's middle name. They take confusing data and research and simplify it into easy to consume designs. You can have infographics for statistics, geographics, processes, timelines, comparisons, and so much more. And you can share these infographics in emails, in social media posts, on postcards, however you'd like. They're a gateway to longer form pieces and they'll grab people's attention much quicker than a link. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to get to work. You now have a laundry list of top of funnel marketing tactics that can immediately start growing your brand awareness. Just remember to first understand your audience. Don't just pick your favorite. You gotta know where your audience is looking if you want to be found. Thank you so much for watching. If you're the type that likes to consume videos to learn new things, especially all things marketing, check out our channel. And don't forget to like this video if you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you back here next time. With Visme, I'm Mike Ploger, helping you make information beautiful.